ask a child to draw a house and she'll first draw a roof. The roof is a symbol for home, shelter and safety, but of course it's more than just a symbol of these things. In a very real way, our day-to-day -day well-being depends on the integrity of that big thing over our heads that we call a roof. But how many of us know how a roof really works? Or how to think about replacing one when the time comes? I'm Pete Croft with Metro Roof Products. At Metro we've been making stone-coated steel roofs since the late 1980s. And we got into this business because we know how to make the world's best roofing material for a wide range of home roofing needs. If your idea of metal roofing is an old barn with a rusty top, then follow me and I'll show you how stone-coated steel roofing has evolved into the modern smart roofing material. Roofs that save both energy and the environment. And roofs that look great while they're doing it. And if you live in an area where wildfires, earthquakes, hail or high winds are ever a concern, then you'll also want to know that stone-coated steel roofs offer good protection against damage from these threats. Once we've covered metal, I'll take a few minutes to explain why Metro is your best choice in a stone-coated steel roof. Our panels look great, they're super lightweight, and they'll give you a lifetime of service. Because they last so long, they're also one of the most economical roofs you can buy to protect your home. And we back that up with our 50-year warranty, and that's transferable to anyone you sell your house to over the next 50 years. As we say at Metro, smart roofs for smart people. And we'll hear from some of these people who've roofed with Metro to tell you why they're glad they did. You know, sometimes when I'm with a few mates, one of them will ask, Hey Pete, how's business? And I reply, well not bad, but our contractors often tell me they never have any repeat customers. Geez, that's terrible. What are you doing wrong? And I tell them, no, it's what we're doing right. We're building roofs that last a lifetime. Follow me and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Most people think that a roof has only one job to do, keeping the weather out. That's a biggie, of course, and most roofs do a pretty good job of this, for as long as they last. But a roof has another big job to do, one that's becoming more important as energy costs rise, and that's to conserve energy in a home. In warm weather, roofs intercept energy from the sun, and then, depending on the roof's materials and construction, either re-radiate that energy down into your house or back out into the environment. Inexpensive asphalt roofs lay flat on the roof sheathing, and when the asphalt heats up under the summer sun, that heat is conducted directly into the sheathing, and then it radiates into the attic space. The energy in the super hot air, with temperatures as high as 130 degrees Fahrenheit, then continues down into the living space of the home, and you either suffer or you pay to cool your home to a livable temperature. Now that's one of the hidden costs of an inexpensive roof. Most metal shingles have a shape that lifts the panel off of the roof sheathing, creating an insulating airspace. How much difference does that make? The sun hits the shingle. The heat radiates out rather than being absorbed into the attic area. Now I really didn't think too much about it until the first month after I had the roof installed, I get my electric bill and realize that I've got a 26% savings on my electricity the first month that I installed it. What we found in terms of how much heat is, is blocked by that air, that air gap or that airspace, it's about 30% reduction in the heat gain by having that airspace. So that 30% less heat is getting through that roof assembly into the attic or into the home below. And that, that translates into lower energy costs for electricity to run your air conditioner. In winter, your roof is your home's overcoat. Now you're trying to keep the heat inside, but warm air always rises, and the heat in that air tries to escape to the cold outside environment. Asphalt and other roof coverings that don't have an insulating airspace do very little to stop this transfer of heat. Now we have a thaw, and so uh, all of the snow is gone, but uh, the snow stays on. You know, in the winter, it just stays on. And so that indicates that there's not much loss of heat. Energy savings is one aspect of the home economics of a roof. Another is environmental savings. This green movement I don't think is a fad and most of my colleagues believe it's here to stay. I think that we have to do something about the environment and we got to do it now and uh, a lot of the municipalities and, and people that we have to get approvals from are mandating that we, that we achieve certain standards of green and sustainability. The most common roofing material in North America is asphalt shingle. It's relatively cheap, but it has a short life. 
It's made from petroleum and fiberglass, and over 10 million tons of it per year end up in landfills across the country. Asphalt roofs come with a wide range of warranties, but many last only 17 years on average, and often shorter than that in areas with very hot or cold seasons. Some years ago, when we weren't so hip about the environment, or so concerned about our dependence on foreign oil, asphalt seemed like an okay choice. I'm not in favor of cluttering a landfill with any more wood. I don't care whether it's wood or whether it's asphalt or whatever. We don't need that. And, you know, in a sense, some of this may be a more renewable resource when you're looking at energy savings. Granted, it certainly takes energy to, con to make metal and to make metal roofs, but I'm not using, hopefully not using as much petroleum. Now we know that an asphalt roof is not what you'd call environmentally friendly. Stone-coated steel roofing, on the other hand, is very friendly to the environment. It's made from up to 50% recycled steel, it's going to stay up on your roof for 50 plus years, and when in the far future it does have to be replaced, it's 100% recyclable. Environmentally friendly stone-coated steel roofing, in whatever color you choose, will always be green. At Metro, when we say our roofs are going to be around for a long time, we mean it, and can prove it. Because metal roofing has been around for a long time, from the ancient temples in Jerusalem to the commercial buildings of old Europe, even Thomas Jefferson's own home, Monticello, in Virginia, metal roofs have always been the choice of people who are after beauty, performance, low maintenance, and long-term economy. Long-term economy is another way of saying that a metal roof is the last roof your house will ever need. In our time, Metal roofing has evolved to the stone-coated steel roof, the most modern expression of those metal roofs of old. These days, steel is abundant and recyclable. The coatings we use to protect the steel provide long life and excellent corrosion resistance. They also reflect solar energy and offer an unlimited range of colors and shapes. And of course, Metro stone-coated steel roof panels are shaped in a way that provides an all-important energy-saving layer of air under the panels. We call that above sheathing ventilation. And stone-coated steels got other strengths as well. Here in our part of Southern California, wildfires are a seasonal event. Sometimes they're mild and sometimes they're fierce. But as our communities reach further out into grasslands and forests that are susceptible to natural wildfires, more and more homes become vulnerable to this kind of destruction. Brush fires, the roof is, is very important here in California because uh, this Probably the main reason they've outlawed shake, um, shake shingles here in California. The fire brands that are blowing from the wind that land on your roof with the shake, they're, they're going to start that roof up right away. Uh, even with some of the uh, composition roofs, you can start to melt through the tar paper and, and that and get fires there where with the metal, you're not going to get through it where you're going to get to the stuff underneath. I actually looked around for two years trying to decide what kind of roof tile or, or we didn't even know about steel when I first metals when we first looked started looking for roofs but we decided uh, one roofer gave it to us and he says well we can he give us a little off if we wouldn't be tied down to a date and so we said that'd be fine mm -hmm. and it just so happened that he, he called us and wanted to do it immediately and luckily it was a week before the fire and he finished it on Saturday before the fire. Otherwise we wouldn't have had a house. But every home that has shake roof in this complex burned. The firemen won't even attempt to save it if it mm. has a shake and there's so much other, you know, so many other things burning they won't even. There's no doubt safe. in my mind that, and our neighbors, no doubt in their minds that our house was saved and their houses were saved because we had just changed the roof. A metal roof provides enough margin of safety to meet the most stringent building codes in fire-prone areas. It's true, of course, that there are other non-flammable roofing materials. I had leaks in the roof that needed to be fixed, so the tile has to come off anyway. But then, living in Southern California, very seismically active, probably the most seismically active place in the entire United States, I wanted to kind of think ahead and plan if I'm going to put a new roof on, something that would decrease the weight. That was one of my criteria. I calculated the concrete tile roof was 18,000 pounds. That's like having three Ford Explorers sit on top of my roof. Now, as a gravity-loaded structure, it's fine, but I'm thinking earthquake time, and I know a lot of damage can occur from having this type of tile roof. 
So this was one answer right there with the metal roof that uh, was perfect for me. High winds can damage roofs in two ways. Parts of roofs, or sometimes the whole roof, will blow off due to poor fastening. Or the roof will be damaged when it's struck by flying debris. We were originally told by the authorities it was going to be like a category one or less. It was going to lose speed and strength as it came across uh, you know, the Everglades and it just got just the opposite. Uh, we lost our entire screen enclosure. It just blew to the north, to, fell down. Uh, most of the roofs, uh, a lot of them blew, the tiles blew off because uh, back in the 90s the building code didn't require back nailing and um, a lot of the cement and the mortar you know, gets loose, turns to sand. So once you get wind underneath the tiles, they just peel off just, just like that. Why then does a metro stone-coated steel roof perform well in high winds? Because two fasteners are better than one. At each point of fastening along the line where the panels overlap, we use two fasteners that form a strong X pattern that practically doubles the pull-out resistance of systems that are conventionally fastened using battens. It's screwed in, it's locked in, um, and they've got estimates that it can withstand winds up to 150 miles an hour. We did a lot more research about the steel product and um, decided that that was what we were going to put on our roof. There are parts of our country where hail means something very different than pea-sized bits of ice bouncing harmlessly off of things. I live in a neighborhood of about 500 homes, brand new homes within about five years old, of course. And most of them have asphalt shingles on them. And what's funny about asphalt shingles when hail hits them is it actually crushes the matting and shoves the rock into the matting. And, and uh, it actually deteriorates later when the sun hits it. No, you really can't see it from the, from the ground. But when, when the adjusters get up there on the roof, what they actually do is they, they take chalk and they mark out a 10 by 10 section. And if it's hit more than 12 times uh, with hail, they actually replace the roof. And so they replaced the roofs a couple of times in the last two years on all these houses. At my house, I got a metro steel roof on it. came through really good. Uh, in fact, I've got some hailstones still in the freezer. You want to see them? These hailstones are about ping ball size or golf ball. The other ones were like softball size. I don't have them. But these are big enough, these could cause a lot of damage. It can actually knock the hide off of a, of a cow here in Minnesota. I've seen that happen, not, not all the time, but it can if there's enough of them. Our car got dinged up all the way. We had to turn in the insurance company, and uh, my truck got hit too. So, I mean, they, there's damage every place other than my roof. In the time it's taken mankind to progress from smoke signals to cell phones, Roofing technology has advanced from thatch and animal skins, through clay tile, asphalt shingles, all the way to stone-coated steel roofs. The early metal roofs came close to the perfect combination of weather tightness and durability, then steel brought economy into the picture. The next step is the one that we at Metro have already taken toward the roof of the future. We've brought the steel roof into the 21st century, from this to this. By coating steel with a high viscosity acrylic resin adhesive and then embedding finely graded oil-free natural stone granules that are themselves coated with a ceramic layer that can take almost any color. The Metro stone coated steel panels begin their life as these 10,000 pound coils behind me. They have a corrosion resistant finish that's applied at the steel factory that consists of 45% zinc and 55% aluminum. From here, we're going to move them into our press department and they'll be pressed into panels for your home. On one end of our plant, we stamp out thousands of these panels each day in shape, shingle, and Roman tile patterns. The steel is specially engineered to accept the high stresses that these distinct details create in each metro profile. On the other end of our plant, we unload the engineered stone granules that'll give our panels their surface character, color, and protection from the sun. We're here in the stone mixing department where we take large bags, 3,000 pounds in weight, of our base color granules. They are craned over to our mixing machine, and in a few seconds we're going to turn this machine on and you'll see how we blend those granules to make the right color for your roof. Our granules are made of natural granite, 
graded to a uniform small size and coloured with a fade-proof ceramic coating. They're small enough so that when they're applied to the panel, there'll be no gaps in coverage. And we back that coating up with a 25-year appearance warranty. One reason we can give that warranty is that unlike some of our competitors, we use oil-free stone. This non-oiled stone ensures a perfect bond with the acrylic binder for a detail-rich, long-life roof. We regularly monitor our daily production to ensure colour consistency throughout the run. We carefully control the viscosity of our specially formulated adhesive acrylic binder so that just the right amount is applied to the panel for good adhesion of the granules. At this stage, the acrylic base coat has to be wet enough so that when the stone chips are applied, they'll get embedded up to their knees in the base coat. The visible portion of the chips are exposed to provide a long life defense against ultraviolet radiation and the weather. The panel receives a clear overglaze coat and the finished stone coated panel comes out of the curing oven ready to guard you against the elements beautifully and in a color choice that's perfect for your home. Of course, throughout the whole process and for each color badge, we test for depth of coverage of the acrylic, for resistance to abrasion. This machine simulates an installer's boot pivoting on top of a panel. For adherence of the stone coat through all of the flexing and bending that goes on during installation. And for performance of the entire panel when exposed to 100% humidity for 24 hours. So now let me show you how this all comes together for a roof for your home. One week ago the contractor came out and did a material estimate on this roof. Two days ago the entire asphalt shingle was torn off and taken to a landfill to dump. The solid sheathing was inspected, dry rot and termite areas were replaced, underlay was installed over the entire surface and perimeter flashings were installed around the roof. As you can see these guys are a little bit ahead of us. They've installed the first row and now they're installing the rest of the panels up the roof. They're fastening the panels through the nose in an X pattern of fastening and this is a battenless application. Generally speaking, our roofing panels can be attached to a roof either without or with battens. These are narrow strips of wood that attach to the roof deck and elevate the roofing panel, creating an insulating airspace underneath. Metro panels are shaped in a way that creates their own insulating airspace, so battens aren't needed. Still, there are times and places when battens may be desirable. If you want to learn more about battened versus battenless roofs, we've created a page about just this subject at the Metro website. We'll give you the address at the end of the video. One of the things that I'm most proud about at Metro is the line of smart accessories that we've developed. They consist of the smart jack, which is designed to go around pipes like this, and then it's capped off with this fully integrated smart sleeve. Our smart vent is fully integrated with the surrounding panels, and that's because of the overlap and interlock of the smart vent. It's self-flashing, and it provides a perfect weather-tight seal to the roof. The smart vent functions by taking the hot air out of the attic. Metro smart accessories also give your roof edge the perfect finishing touch. This is our drip edge flashing, and this is our bird stop riser metal, designed with a three-dimensional return detail so that it will look great from the ground. Well, that's it for our Why Metal, Why Metro story. At least the part of it you can see. Behind the scenes, we work very hard to maintain a network of distributors and customer-oriented contractors in every part of the country to make sure that when you choose a metro roof, you're well served every step of the way. The distributor's job is to make sure that your contractor gets whatever he needs when he needs it for the roof that you want. That includes samples to help you make decisions about your roof, and it also includes timely delivery of your roofing materials to keep your job on schedule. We offer all roofing contractors an on-site training program that will help you narrow the field in order to find just the right installer for your new metro roof. The roofing crews who complete this training are up on all the latest designs and accessories as well as special installation techniques that we at Metro continually develop and update. Contractors who complete this training can be easily found on our website. If you're thinking about a new roof, we'd love to have you in our family of happy customers. The people who say, We've got an Ashwood uh, Metro 2 and I absolutely love it. I love my roof. 
Love it. <laughs> oh, we're going to put a steel roof on it, definitely, absolutely. Oh, we, we love it. I loved it, and I still love it. I think that uh, we, would, we would definitely do it again. We're thinking about you when we say, smart roofs for smart people. If you have any questions, give us a call.